Yo, I'm trying so hard to make this video. This is my third or fourth attempt making this video. How you doing? Young Do, Tony Do. Uh, and this is my Black History Month video. Um, and it's so hard figuring out where to start or where to talk, what to talk about. But um, I'm going to give it a try. And I'm going to give it as many tries as it takes to get it right how I feel it's right. So hopefully this is, this is right. Um, let's get some music started. Okay, so Black History Month, right? I think it's incredible that we have our own month. You know, and I'm mixed. You know, I, I don't think it really matters. If you ask me, I'm black and white. You know, I have both in me. You know, I have a white stepdad. I have a mixed mom and my biological dad is black. So I respect everyone. I've, I've had Latina and La I've had Latina nannies. You know what I mean? I, I work with a Latino. He's my boss and I love him to death. You know what I mean? I don't understand what the hype is about being racist towards people who have great people and not so great people in their community who are their same race. You know what I mean? Um, and the cool thing, and I'm going to get to black history, but the cool thing, and I feel like this about white people and other people, but white people too, is that I think a lot of them are starting to be less racist. Back in the day, people were racist. I remember back in the day when I was going to a basketball game uh, and I was one of the only black kids on the team, um, people drove up, white people drove up and there was some sitting in the back of the truck and they were like, nigger. And I'm like, okay, where did this come from? You know what I mean? They don't know me. I don't know if it's where it's coming from, but I'm so glad that people aren't really racist anymore. I just want to put that out there. You know what I mean? Like they're just not, people are realizing that it's just, it's not logical to be racist. Why? Like, and I understand that different races may have done something bad to you or they may talk shit. Those are just people who aren't in the now. They're not people who are in 2019 or 2020. They're people who aren't in the new generation, in the new century. Because if you're in the new century, why is it logical to be racist against anybody? The correct answer is it's not. But um, let's talk about black history. And this is not the best video, but I'm trying. My favorite story is about Rosa Parks. And what she did was she sat at the front of the bus and she got arrested for it. And the reason she did that is to prove a point that black people should be able to sit anywhere they want to on the bus. And this is our future, whether you like it or not, we will be equal. This is just me telling you this is how it's gonna be. So I'm gonna fight for it. And I like that story so much because when it comes to porn stars, when it comes to people who have been in prison, when it comes to families who've had people who have been shot or killed, and I know that's hard, but you gotta stand up and say, this is wrong. You know what I mean? You have to stand up. And what's great about now, what's great about 2020 is you can make a YouTube video and not go to jail for it. You can you can write a book and not go to jail for it. You can, you can talk to people and talk knowledge and not go to jail for it. Rosa Parks sat at the front of the bus and knock knock who's there, she went to jail for it. So in the United States, we've grown so much. And now black people, white people, Latina, Latino, Asians, Arabs, Arab people or, or Middle Eastern people or or Jewish people, we can be free and talk about what we feel and not be arrested for it and not be persecuted for it. People are out there on the Internet looking for stuff like that. That's why I do stuff like this, because I like talking about it and I want to see more of it and I want to see more of it with a lot of views so it actually gets to me you know but um that's why i like the rosa park story so much but would you do it would you sit at the front of the bus to prove a point and not to just prove a point to say what's going to happen in the future back then i wouldn't do it but then again i don't know how bad no no not even there's no way I would sit at the front of the bus and not move because when it comes to cops, and this is important for black people, black kids, black adults, if a cop tells you to do something, I don't care what type of point you're proving. 
you are doing better and you're making the smarter decision by staying out of prison and listening to the police officer to do what you need to do. You know, prove the point by doing smart things. And I'm not saying Rosa Parks isn't smart, but if 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 you're a car, maybe a black person here, a black person in the passenger seat, you, you get pulled over and he tells you to get out of the car or he asks you for your ID. As an African-American, you don't pull out the phone and record. You don't, you don't say you don't get my ID. You don't say, no, I'm not getting out of the car. I'm black and this is going to go viral. No, you have to listen to the cop and keep it moving. You have to. That's just, we're not trying. We don't have to prove a point anymore. Everyone's free. Everyone is free. And Black History Month is just about remembering what we went through as a people. As a people. And, and I don't even know if I'm right for saying this, but I'm black. My little half-brothers who have a white stepfather and a mixed mother, they're black even though they don't look it. And the point in African American History Month is that we're all together, especially the darker African Americans or the or the black African Americans. We're all together, but they're together. You know why? Because sometimes it might be harder for them. You know what I mean? Not all of them are handsome or beautiful and not all of them are pretty. You know what I mean? Some of them got problems. Some of them don't look as good as I do. You know what I mean? We got some handsome African-American people. Don't get me wrong, but some people aren't. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. It's about staying together. African-American Black History Month is about staying together as a people. You know, we went through it. We went through slavery. We got whipped. They made us work. And that's truth and facts. That's facts. You can look it up. And it's hard because a lot of history, I'm running this long video, but a lot of history, we read about it, but we don't know because we don't have proof. So I want you to have that question mark in your mind talking about how do I know this is possible? How do I know the Holocaust happened? How do I know that black people were really slaves when there was no videos, no pictures, just people trying to set themselves free and writing record of it? You know what I mean? So question it, but also look up the facts, you know, which sometimes I'm not that good at. But always question your history. And uh, the most important part about African-American, I keep calling it African-American History Month or African-American Black History Month. But the most important thing is to stay out of jail, stay out of harm's way, write about your hopes for black people and the United States all together. If we really want to do better, that's how we're going to do it. Stay out of jail. You know what I mean? If, if you're in a gang and you want to get out, Dude, do you know about gangs and how you get in and out, dog? I don't. Do you? Like, that's 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 how some African-American kids start their life. You know what I mean? But all I know is that a, as a black mom or as a black dad, all we want to do is see our kids strive. And do good. And not end up in the news. And not end up dead. And not end up in prison. That's what a black family wants to see. They want to see them survive and tell their story and make the world better, make the United States better. That's the goal. So I think that that's a little bit about what Black History Month is about. Um, you know. So this is the last thing I'm going to say about it. Um, if you're black... Be proud you're black. You don't have to have a prove yourself mentality. You don't have to have that mentality. Have a mentality like like Martin Luther King. You know what I mean? And you don't have to go above and beyond, but go above and beyond in the smart ways. Make YouTube videos. Make music that's not about shooting somebody in another gang or drinking lean. You know what I mean? Which do what you want, but you know, make videos about how we want to see the hood make it and be safe. Make videos about stuff like that. Because we've been killing each other, yo. As a community, we've been killing each other. And color isn't even a part of it. It's, it's different gangs. It's because you disrespected me at a club and I got to prove myself. Prove yourself mentality. You don't, you don't have to prove yourself. You're smart and you're alive. That's proof enough. Um... That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to finish this beer on my own, so.
I'm gonna smoke the rest of the Swisher. Um, shout out to Brittany for having the Black History Month knowledge. Um, you know, everything's great. So, thank you for listening. Um, I say look up one one Black History fact for Black History Month. I might not even do it, but look one up. You know, learn something new and fact check it. You know what I mean? Fact check it. Always, always question your history and check the facts. Um, all right. But I love you guys. Stay up. I got like 50 views on my last video. Hey, what's up? Like, if 50 people saw it, good. You know what I mean? Like, cool. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say. So stay up, stay alive, stay smart, and stay beautiful, whether that's in your face or in your mind. Um, I love you guys. It's young dude, T-Doo. Peace out.